I've been on top for a while. Now I cheap to the moon. Fast car make me go room, room. Take it to the boom, boom, boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big paddock with a brand new wrist set. Mmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in the butter jelly. Mmm. I'm sliding in the road, sliding in the lamp, sliding in the bin. Been working on my confidence. And respect, I get a lot of it. I don't have a mean that contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Don't pour another cup with us. I don't know if I can catch that tugboat from right here. I know I can't. So I'm gonna ease up closer. A little bit closer. And you guys can see the tugboat zooming down the Mississippi River. This is how we do it on a early evening on a Friday. Early evening on a Friday. Let's see if I can catch that tugboat going down the Mississippi River. You guys, and that's the Mississippi River Bridge right there. Just decided to get out on this early Friday evening. Give you guys another look around this area. I'm on the uh, Vidalia side, the Louisiana side of the river. I'm on the Louisiana side of the river, you guys. Give you another shot of the Dominator. It's pretty over here. It's pretty over here, you guys. Today is a beautiful day. I think the temperature got up to like 82 degrees. 82 degrees and as you can see the flag moving and the trees moving. You can tell it's windy, but it feels good. It feels good, you guys. Case move out here doing it again. Doing it again, you guys. Okay, you guys. Showing you the Louisiana side of the Mississippi River. See that beautiful river? Just doing a video just to show you guys how your boy K Smooth do it on a Friday, early Friday evening. Walking out here on this dock to the Mississippi River. Then you guys get a glimpse from the Louisiana side of the mighty Mississippi. The mighty Mississippi. And over on that side, what you guys are looking at, that's the Natchez side of the river. That's the Mississippi River Bridge. Don't really have a subject. Don't really have a topic. Just decided to come over here and do what it do. Let it do what it do. I saw this was a pretty, pretty nice little spot. So I decided to just come out and I did want to get on that gazebo over there, but <laughs> that was my intention when I went back and got my camera. But there's some people already on the gazebo. You can see it from here. So I won't go and invade their little space over there. I'll just talk to you guys as I walk down this mighty Mississippi River. Letting you guys get a glimpse. Let me see what this says. 1927, Great Mississippi River Flood of 1927. Can you guys read that? I'll let you guys read it. Let's see if you guys can read it. I hope I have it close enough where you guys can read it. Because I don't feel like reading all of that. Yeah. 
inundated more than 26,000 square miles of land in several states focused national attention on the depressed need of the flood. So at, that's the uh, River Park Medical Center right there. Y'all see how beautiful that river is? How wide she is, how big she is. Like I said, I don't really have a topic, you guys. I just uh, decided to get out and exercise my bike for a minute. Ended up over here in Vidalia. See, let me go down to the river and see if I can get a little footage and find something that I can talk about. But as of right now, I haven't come up with a topic yet. So I'll keep pondering my mind until maybe something comes up. If nothing comes up, then hey, we just do what we do. So you guys, let me see if I can set the camera down a little bit. Try to get it angled right. Where you can catch a glimpse of me <laughs> and the, the mighty Mississippi River behind me. You know how I do it. I just like to come on you guys and give you guys a little insert about life. Life is as good as you make it. And it's as bad as you make it. If you make it bad, it's bad. If you make it good, it's good. Life is wonderful. I enjoy life. Uh, life can be fair. Life can be good. Life can be bad and life can be marvelous. All depending upon you. Each one of us has the opportunity. There were some that we say may have been born with a silver spoon in their mouth or whatever, but they still have problems. They still have uh, situations that they are uncomfortable with. They still have situations that they deal with because of some may be spoiled and some may just not be comfortable and some just may not be happy because they don't have Holy Spirit and they don't have Jesus so it doesn't matter whether you whether you are born rich born poor or born somewhere in the middle it's all about whatever you make of it life and it's all about your understanding the, the Bible tells us in all of your getting, you can get knowledge, you can get wisdom, but in all of your getting, get an understanding. If you don't have an understanding of things, then you're going to be pretty messed up. So try to get an understanding about every situation that you may be dealing with, especially your purpose. Why were you created? Why were you created? Do you know why you were created? <laughs> Do you know what your purpose in life is? Do you know why you exist? Do you know why you do or live the way you live or act the way you act? Or do you know who you are? Do you know the real you? Do you know that you are a spirit that will never die? You are a spirit. You have a body and you possess a soul. So it's good to know who you are, what you came here for, and, and to strive to get to where you plan on going. It's up to each one of us to walk that journey in life and 
end up on the right path. Y'all see that tugboat pushing the, the barge? I hope you can see it. If not, I'll get it a little bit closer. Can you see the tugboat pushing the barge down the mighty Mississippi River? Yeah, you guys, I'm over here in Vidalia, Louisiana, right next to uh, Natchez on the other side of the river of Natchez, Mississippi. You know, a lot of, a lot of uh, city folks, <laughs> if you will, a lot of people that's born and lived and have been raised in other than a southern country type environment, they really think we slow. This is a slow life. Uh, uh, they think that our lifestyle is slower than theirs, which it is, but it doesn't mean that they are more sophisticated than we are. It just means that they, they live a faster lifestyle and we live a slower lifestyle, which is preferably for me, the best. I could choose, I chose and I can choose to live wherever I want to live. I've been all over the world, all overseas. I don't know how many times. I've been almost in every state in the United States. I've been to a lot of different places on the other side of the world. I was stationed in Hawaii. I could live and could have moved to anywhere that I wanted to live, but I chose to live right here. And I thank God that he allowed me to have the mentality to want to live right here in this slower type environment. Because man, look, look at all this beauty. Look at all this uh, clean air. All of this just nature, just, I mean, it's good. Nobody shooting at me. I don't have people all around me where I can't even think, I can't even talk. Uh, I have my freedom. I don't have the hustle and the bustle of being in the city. It's just, life is just good. And I'm enjoying it. it gives me time to think gives me time to uh, talk with my creator gives me time to listen to him when he speaks back to me he speaks back to you in your inner ear in your heart you can hear him if you take time to listen you will hear him if you take time to listen so I just wanted to come on and uh, just do a little video to see how it's going to come out with me down here by the Mississippi River on the Louisiana side of it. Had never shot a video on this side by the river. Because you guys know I love the river. You know I love water. I love mountains. I love animals. I love people. I like nature. Most of all, man, I love God. I love Jesus. I love Holy Spirit. So, you guys, I'm not going to hold you up. I thank you guys for watching my channel. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave some comments. I'll do my best to answer all questions comments give a thumbs up if you like it uh, subscribe share and hit that notification button so every time I have a new video that pops up you'll be notified and you'll be able to watch it thank you guys for being so kind to me and watching my videos and thank you for liking them 
I pray that you guys have a blessed day. And until next time, see you down the road, folks. Continue to ride your bikes. Continue to go fishing. Continue to love your wives, love your husbands. Continue to enjoy life. Life is good. Until next time, bye.